What's up, everybody? It's Angelica Napolitano, Doctor of Physical Therapy, and today I have special guest John Decker on the on the live um, for this week. So John is a PGA um, golf pro, and he's had what? How many years of experience now? Over twenty years. Over twenty years. Over 20 years. So he yep. literally is a pro. Um, <laughs> And so I want you to introduce yourself, uh, John, tell everybody a little bit about your experience as a pro, um, where you've worked, and then we'll we'll get into your short game guru. Okay. okay. Well, first of all, um, thank you, Angelica, for having me on the show. Um, I've been a PGA golf professional since 1997. Um, I started out my career working down at uh, in Orlando at the Grand Cypress Academy of Golf, where I was a head instructor down there. And I worked under top 100 teachers, uh, Phil Rogers, who uh, just recently passed away. Uh, I consider him to be my mentor and uh, Fred Griffin. Um, and I really that's where I learned how to teach the game, working in a golf school where you were teaching 15, 16 people at a time uh, during the you know late uh, 90s. So it was really uh, when golf was really booming. Uh, so I, it was a great experience for me. And uh, then in 2007, I got hired as the director of instruction up here in Ohio, I'm in, in the Columbus, Ohio area. And uh, so I moved up to Ohio. I was going back and forth between Florida and Ohio. I did that for about five years and now I'm, I'm in Ohio full time. So um, it's been a great experience. Uh, and I've got to work at a really high end club and then also at a resort. So I really enjoyed both of those. A little cold up there, huh? It is cold. There's a little snow on the ground and I do miss the south. Well, it's like, it feels like it's like 39 here. It's, it said something like that on the news today. So us Floridians, we're like freaking out. I don't, I'm wearing boots today. And so like, that's a first. I feel yeah. sorry for you. I, I'm, I'm uh, t tearing up as we speak. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I just want to give our viewers a little insight as to how we kind of met um, through social media. I saw your videos. Yeah. I love them. Obviously, I'm a video person. You guys see my videos all the time. Um, and I loved your just just your professionalism, your appearance, your setting, all that stuff. And then obviously the information you were providing, I was like, I need to know this guy. Um, so I reached out to John and we started a friendship. And I got to know that he actually created a vi video series called Pitch Perfect, right? With GolfSwing.com. Yes. yes. Okay. So let's, let's talk about that. Um, what exactly are you providing in these videos and what is this like package that you are offering people? That's a great question. Um, it started out with, um, I, uh, last year, um, I started doing videos and a lot of my members really loved them. And so I, I put them on, I put them on uh, Facebook and they, and had a big following there and YouTube, but then I decided to put it on LinkedIn. And about a week later, I got contacted by a company called GolfSwing.com. They're out of Dallas, Texas. And they saw my videos and they said, you know, we really uh, like your presentation style. We want to hire you. So I sent them uh, three or four videos and they created, um, they put me on the website and they hired me. Um, and after a couple of weeks, the videos started doing really well. Um, so they said, we want to fly you out to Dallas and we want to create a short game series. We're going to call it Pitch Perfect. And I spent three and a half days uh, filming videos, uh, sun up to sundown. Uh, we filmed 108 videos, um, and it is the most complete and comprehensive short game video series ever, ever created. Um, they've done research. They've, they've, they've checked out all of the short game uh, and full swing video series that are out there. And uh, if you sit and watch it start to finish, it's over five hours of content. But what's really interesting about it is it's very easy. I don't want the, the listeners out there to think it's real complicated. All of those five hours are broken down into two and three minute long videos. So for example, there might be a video on the grip and then the ball position for chipping. And then in the bunker, it could be uh, the grip and the ball position for bunker. So each um, you know, subject and we cover uh, chipping, uh, pitch and run, the pitch shot and the bunker shot. And I also have a, a list of my drills on there. So I've been real excited. Um, and, and the website itself, golfswing.com, there's a lot of great uh, tour players uh, on there as well. It's not just myself. There's 15 other instructors. We have a sports um, psychologist on there, Dr. David Cook and Hal Sutton, who was the Ryder Cup captain. Uh, Jeff Mitchell, who played on the PGA Tour. So a lot of, lot of big name uh, instructors as well. So there's a lot of different presentation styles because 
some people may relate to my presentation style, but then they may relate to another instructor's as well. And um, hopefully we'll get you on there as well. Yeah, that would be, I would love that because you guys yeah. don't have any kind of medical side of things yet. It's, it's purely just about the game right now and how to play, right? Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. And that's, that's where I, I, that's the part where, I mean, I, you know, fitness, and that was one of the things I loved about watching your videos is I'm really into fitness. I want to know how the body works. I'm not a doctor, but I know that if I know how it works, I can translate the, translate that into teaching. And I'm, a lot of my students are doctors. So it, it helps me to communicate with them as well, the more knowledge I have. Uh, but I, I love to work out. Fitness is a passion of mine. In fact, I enjoy fitness now more than I do playing golf. I enjoy teaching so much. I'm around it so much that fitness is a big part of my life. Um, and, I, and I believe that it's important um, in, in improving your game because if you're out of shape, I don't care what I don't care who you go to. You can go to the best teachers in the country. Um, if you're not in physical shape you can't play this sport and and it requires that you be in somewhat sh uh, good shape so right absolutely um you know it's it's for golf it's a, a lot about your movement patterns because we have to work in that multi-dimensional um, planes of movement and if you're not able to get that movement efficiently you're going to compensate and, and cause injury somewhere along the line um, through re repetitive stress to your joints and, and your soft tissue and things like that. So if it doesn't happen, you know, suddenly it's going to happen gradually and people need to know how to identify um, these movement pattern dysfunctions that they are performing in their golf swing because it's very, very um, career ending, if you will. I know a lot yeah. of golfers that can't, play, you know, that are in their 20s that can't play anymore because they hurt themselves. And we have these guys out there in their 50s, you know, the recreational golfer just for fun. But it's going to catch up with them. And, and being in your 50s, you're not as, you know, fit and in shape as that 20-year-old. So if that person's doing it, that 50-year-old is definitely going to get hurt. So yeah. and, and people ask me all the time, oh, there's injury in golf. Golf is the number one uh, non-contact sport for injury. It has the highest rate um, incidence of injury. So, yes. There's a ton of ton of injury in golf, um, and and people need to like really realize that. And I think the it's starting to um, the word's starting to spread. People are starting to see it and literally feel it. So it's very important. But the golf pro and the medical side of things and fitness go hand in hand. Um, like you're gonna be like he is. Let's say he's he's hanging back on his swing on his downswing, right? So I could come in and be like, well, this is why X, Y, and Z. And then you learn from that as well. And I think that would be a great addition to um, golfswing.com. But for now, you, you're giving that short game info, and that's great because I suck. My short game's not <laughs> at all. <laughs> I, I don't like short game. Like, I need to work on chipping, putting, all of that stuff, and I just don't because I'd rather just do um, long drives. And – this is definitely, definitely a good product to get if you're me, which I encourage everyone to take lessons. If you're going to golf, you need a lesson. Um, anybody. I mean, I teach injury prevention and all these medical side of things for the golfer, but I still even take lessons. So it's, it's necessary for everybody. And this is a great way to get lessons if you don't really have $100 an hour to spend with a golf coach, right? That's exactly right. In fact, for about $100 – you can have a year's worth of my videos. Uh, and, and that is, you know, uh, that there's, I have 154 videos that are currently up that are full swing drills uh, related. And then I have the new Pitch Perfects, uh, which is called a signature series. So when you go on the website, you'll see videos and then you'll see signature series. And signature series basically means it's A to Z. It's straight from, you know, chipping, uh, a to Z from grip all the way to finish and then pitch and run and then pitching and then bunker and then the drills as well. So, uh, you know, for there's over there's, all, you know, almost 300 videos now that are up. And that's a, a great value because I, I think knowledge is power. It's important that if you're going to go out and you're going to practice and a lot of the a lot of your listeners out there uh, are, you know, with the winter coming up, they can't get out to the golf course. A lot of the things that I show in these uh, the, a lot of the drills and things can be done inside. You do not have to physically 
uh, swing a club. You can work on your short game inside. So there's some some positives to that as well. But I think, uh, you know, just the idea of being able to um, reach a worldwide audience and help people in the short game is your people don't want to work on their short game, but that's how you lower your scores. And that's what I consistently say in this. If you, if you want to lower your scores, you know, and lowering your scores is like making more money. I mean, I don't know anyone that doesn't want to make more money and I don't know anyone that doesn't want to lower their scores. So that's, that's really where you, uh, where you can uh, save a lot of scores or save a lot of strokes and, and, um, and, and enjoy the game more. Right. I agree. I definitely agree. When I, when I make that, that, that long drive and then I get to it. I'm like, oh, I don't even, I don't even want to like chip, chip this, this right now. I just want to hit another one. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm that golfer. Um, I'm not necessarily professional. Let's not get carried away, but I'm the person that fixes them, but I definitely need to work on my short game. So this would be for me. And tell me a little bit about like the cost of the signature series. I know you're offering our viewers in here um, a little bit of a discount right with the yeah yeah um and and we can put this for i think this is provided in the uh the link information that for the viewers that, that on facebook but if you go to save.golfswing.com forward slash john decker you'll save 25 percent off of the uh, the price and just so the viewer just so you know my my first name is spelled j-o-n so and john decker is all one word Again, that's save.golfswing.com forward slash John Decker. Uh, you'll be able to save 25%. And this uh, special is going to run uh, through Christmas. So between now, it makes a great Christmas gift. It's If you're looking for a unique gift, um, like I said, under $100 that you can uh, provide and, uh, you know, or for, for a family member or a friend or whatever, I think it makes a great Christmas gift. Yeah, this would be great. Christmas gift to myself. <laughs> but, um, so it's it's under a hundred dollars with the twenty five percent discount. That's a that's yes. that's amazing because I mean one, I, obviously you're going to get more out of it if you're going to get actual lessons um, from an instructor. But people don't have money like that these days. So this is really yeah. gonna that that golfer that doesn't have the the means necessary um, to help their game uh, for a hundred dollars a uh, session. But um so. How, 300 videos that's crazy i don't even know how you can do that in three days that seems like three months worth of work well no the the the, the hundred the uh 108 videos that i did i did in three and a half days uh oh. now keep in mind these are these were all like two three minute long videos but then there was some that we had to edit and we had to redo and things like that after the first day i'd lost my voice I've been talking so long, but um, I, you know, I love doing it. I love, pre I feel like presentation is uh, one of my strengths in teaching. I also love delving into golf swings and I love helping people enjoy the game more. And again, the fastest way to enjoy the game is by lowering your scores. If you're lowering your scores, you're going to have more fun. You're going to play more golf. So the short game is, is uh, you know, over 75% of your score. And that's going to help the, the mental toughness of the sport. You, obviously, lowering your scores, you're going to be happier. Um, so when you go to, you know, do the short game, you're going to have more confidence. You're going to all these things. You're going to start to notice a change in your mental status and a change in your game. And like that's important because when we get pissed off, we throw our club and mm -hmm. curse and, you know, all those things. It's not fun anymore, you know. No. At that point. So golf for me is about having fun and not getting hurt. Um but most importantly, having fun and enjoying myself. And I don't enjoy myself when I play like crap. And I think that goes for a lot of people. So um, not only is this going to help your game, but your 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 brain, you know? So, exactly. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, John, or not John, I'm sorry. Paul Calloway says, yes, yeah, starting with short game instruction is absolutely the most important part of our game that we should be working on first while we are being evaluated for our full swing physical performance factors. So yes, um, Paul agrees with us. And I like your last name, Callaway. That's great, uh, great last name. Uh, Paul is new to the group, so welcome, Paul. He just joined. Welcome, Paul. Yeah. So um, awesome. Any Anything else you'd like to share with our viewers, a little bit more about yourself or um, some future endeavors that you might be taking on? Sure. Um, first of all, um, I, I am a published author. 
Um, uh, I start. I wrote a. I wrote a book. It's it's a Christian uh, book. It's called Golf Is My Life: Glorifying God Through the Game. It took me about four years to to write. And the fact that I wrote a book is uh, my mom still can't believe it because it's something that I never really wanted to do. Uh, but I felt uh, called to do it. And um, what I do is each chapter in the book talks. I start with scripture. I tell a life story and I tell a golf story. And I really wanted to show I really wanted to show how golf and life are yeah. parallel, how they're similar. Uh, so there's a lot of great stories. I have a story in the book about Tiger Woods. I have a story about Paul Lazinger. I have a story about Seve Ballesteros. I have a story about Payne Stewart. Uh, I have a story about uh, Brad Doherty, who I went to high school with, who played number one pick for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Brad Johnson, who I also played high school basketball with. He was the quarterback for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I have a story in the book about him as well. Um, and all of these are personal experiences. Uh, and I try to put the Christian element in there as well. Uh, if you're a, a Christian and you're not a golfer, you, it, it may lead you to, to the game of golf. If you're a golfer and you're not a Christian, it may lead you to Christ. But ultimately, um, I, I know as a golf professional there, and, and as a Christian, there's two things that I'm called to do. One is to grow the game of golf. And the other is, is I want to help people. Uh, and I know that there's a lot of people out there who are struggling uh, and I hope that this book is uplifting and um, I'm, I'm really proud of how it came out and uh, it's gotten very good reviews. And, and uh, so it's been a great experience. I spent eight months of my life traveling the United States. I was speaking at elementary schools. I was speaking at churches, at golf courses. I was speaking in snack bars at golf courses. I mean, it was it was really a great experience. And uh, and then I got back into teaching. Um, but um, things with GolfSwing.com have done very well. And so we're trying to plan out a new uh, signature series, and I want to do one on fitness and golf. And um, and I and I'm hoping that um, you know I definitely want to get you involved with that, and hopefully it'll work out. So um, I think you know Pitch Perfect is um, is I think will do very well. Um, and I know you know one thing for the listeners out there and the viewers, um, the. The website, if you go and join the website, you can join month to month. You don't have to purchase everything at once. So you could test drive it a little bit. And in one month, you can go through, and it's not just my videos. You may go want to watch Hal Sutton's or Dr. David Cook's. So there's other instructors as well. Uh, in total, there's about 15, 1,600 videos. So for less than, um, it, it comes out to less than $20 a month. If you go join the website and and after a month or two decide, you know what, I, this is, you know, I don't want to, uh, you know, be a member anymore. You can cancel at any time. So it's a great, there's no obligation that you're committed to long term. Yeah, that's that's great to know because I didn't even know that um, you can have a subscription and kind of pick and choose who you kind of relate to in your game and, and what have, have you um, through those 15 different instructors. So that's good. It provides more value to that person who is going to be subscribing. Um, but I do want to ask you, just before we sign off, summarize one of your favorite stories from your book. Um, just give us, you know, in so many words, give us the story. And um, I also want you to drop a link to uh, find your book on Amazon, wherever we can buy it. So that, yeah. um, can purchase that if they're interested as well. Absolutely. Um, how much time do I have? Like a minute or two? Do I have two minutes? Okay. I mean, uh, however long the story takes, but you know, summarize yeah. it, whatever you got to do. Okay. Um, my, probably my, my two favorite stories are the one about Seve and the one about Payne Stewart, but um, I'll tell the one about Seve. Um, uh, Seve uh, came to Grand Cypress to uh, take some lessons with my boss, Fred Griffin. I spent three days watching him take lessons and I watched him do his short game. He got in the bunker and pulled his three iron out and showed us how to hit a three iron bunker shot uh, from a greenside bunker, which was incredible. Um, and, and watching him hit driver, he, he came and was taking lessons in his, with his drive, hitting drivers in his street shoes. He had penny loafer shoes on. And, and he was hitting the ball everywhere. And I kept looking at him thinking, I can't believe this guy won a golf tournament because he hit one ball would go 300 yards right and the other would go 300 yards left. No. But when I saw his short game, it was incredible. He had the best putting stroke I've ever seen. It was fluid. And for, for those out there, putting should not – don't get all wrapped up in the science of putting. Focus on it's, – it's, it's an art form. A, a good putter is like an artist. They're not like a scientist thinking about – 
you know, a million different things. Um, but what was interesting is Seve told me when he was a little boy, he didn't have any money. His family didn't have any money. He only had one golf club that he used in, on the beach. Uh, and so he and his friends would caddy and they would go to the golf course and they would lay a rubber hose down that had holes in it. And they would run it from the to the hole and they would turn it on all night. So the, the water would come out of it and it would form a trench. And then the next morning they would get there and they would take the hose away and they would putt. And the ball would go in the hole every time because of the trench. And they would hustle the, the members who came there, and they would bet them that they could make the 20-footers with one hand. And he said that's how he made money to uh, feed his family. So to hear him tell me that story, those are the kind of stories that are in this book. It's not things that you're going to, you know, maybe have seen on the Golf Channel. These are personal experiences I had. Um, and, and, and they're just great, great experiences. And I think it really adds to the book. Yeah. That's like a really inspiring story, too. It's very admirable um, that he was able to do that and make money from it. Kind of smart. <laughs> um, and then I have a couple other questions. Sure. What makes uh, Golfswing.com and that subscription and everything different from, like, let's say, TPI? Um, like, give me, give me your answer on that. Obviously, I know that there's no medical and fitness side in Golfswing.com yet, um, and TPI does offer that, but... Do you guys have different like philosophies or is it just the same all around, just a different um, company? No, we're, we are not um, governed to teach any particular style. I mean, I'm going to teach my background and, and, and right. the other guys are so going to teach that, theirs. Right, so right. What, is what TPI says. I'm just wondering if like your, uh, the way, I guess, how do I word this? Like your, your coaching philosophies or, you know, your terminology that you're using for swing faults, things like that. No, they would not be the same. And that's one of the beauties of it because everyone's different. You know, think about, you know, when you were growing up and you were in elementary school, there was probably one or two teachers that you really gravitated to. And why? Maybe they, maybe it was the way they talked to you. Maybe it was the way they presented. Maybe they challenged you. Maybe they nurtured you. There was always something about them that made them stand out. And that's what we look for with golfswing.com is that you can go on there. You may go on there to, to watch my videos, but then you may fall in love with one of the other instructors. So um, that's, you know, that's perfectly fine. That was the main thing they wanted to do is their, their number that we have 15 instructors right now. We're looking to get it to around 30, 35 and no more. And it's going to be kind of the, the number that we're looking for. And so you can develop a relationship. I think eventually we'll be able to do online instruction. So if someone really gravitates to me and, and they want to take lessons with me, I could do it in an online format as well. Like kind of like I, how I offer um, telehealth, kind of like a Skype session um, for a golf lesson, right? Exactly. Nice. Exactly. That's awesome. All right. Well, it was awesome having you on um, the Golf Docs page talking about Pitch Perfect. I love it a lot. I want you to drop the link to that, and I want you to drop the link to your book um, below in the comments section so we can access that for those who are interested. Again, this um, offer is till Christmas? Yeah, till Christmas, yeah, 25% off. It, and uh, and it's, it's save.golfswing.com forward slash John Decker, and that's J-O-N-D-E-C-K-E-R. I made a couple of mistakes in my post yesterday. I put it 50% <laughs> off link. You're sales. <laughs> that was really only for Cyber Monday, I guess. Um, but so it's 25%, not over 50%. And it runs, the special runs through the holiday season. So it's not just this one-time offer that's being extended. So I would definitely look into this. If you are a serious golfer, if you're recreationally doing it, you find yourself doing it on the weekends a lot, um, during the week, whenever, even if you're once a month, a couple times a year, I would look, seriously look into uh, Pitch Perfect and, and GolfSwing.com because that's definitely going to help your game. I mean, I'm going to get off right now and, and look into it and all that mm -hmm. stuff, and I'm excited to see the videos and what you guys have to offer. You know, I've obviously looked into it a little bit before this, but now I'm really going to dive in because I'm interested. So thank you so much. If there's anything thank else. You you want to add um, or say, go ahead and do that now. I just want to say to everyone, uh, have a, um, happy holidays and Merry, Merry Christmas. And, and um, Angelica, I really appreciate you having me on your show. And I look forward to posting more uh, videos. Um, you know, each, each every day I try to 
post some of the videos that I've already done. Uh, and if you ever, if there's anybody out there that has any golf related questions, feel free to message me or go to my, uh, you can follow me on Facebook at John Decker golf instruction against J O N. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, or LinkedIn. And my book is available and I'll put, I'll put the link in the comment section. But you can get it on Barnes and Noble and Amazon websites. I figured you can get everything on Amazon. I love Amazon. <laughs> um, awesome! This is great. I love it, and I love the, um, the, the what you're posting in my group. I love everything that you. All the videos are great. I mean, that's why I contacted you in the first place. So well, thank you. You can do that until you're blue in the face. I love it. it provides value to the viewers and the people in the group. Um, and I learned from it as well. So mm -hmm. thank you so much. And just taking your time out of your day to talk to me about your, your new uh, product and your endeavors and all those things, because I want to educate the community about golf and how to do it the right way. So thank you for being part of that. And thank you for having me. we will definitely be keeping in touch. And I look forward to uh, possibly meeting you at the, what is it in Orlando? PGA show at the end of Orlando or the end of January. I'll be down in Orlando, but yeah, that love to, I'd love to meet you. And, um, and, and I c hopefully you can watch a couple of videos and then I can, I can follow it up with giving you a little instruction. Absolutely. I would, I'm definitely taking you up on that. And if you, if you need a little therapy session, I, I need a lot of therapy. <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> What'd you say? I said I need a lot of therapy. I'm just yeah, don't, I'm, we all, <laughs> don't we all? Um, and one more thing, I know I keep doing this. Give me one type of fitness or medical um, question you want me to answer, either through a post or a video or whatever, um, or a joint. Just name something that you you would like clarified. Um, in that aspect and I will make sure that I get that for you. Are you I'm asking you the question. So what you're asking you, me, oh it, name a joint or a specific like issue or injury I, or something that you want me you want to see me talk about or um, do exercises for or something. I, I think um, you know the flexibility stuff is is I get that a lot and um, you know the flexibility in the hamstrings are very important uh, and then core anything core strength dynamic motion where you're getting the the upper body going one way and the lower body going the other way that is uh, I, I love those I, I I'm constantly using that kind of information in my lessons especially right now when it's you know colder up here easy done. I have a core one coming um, soon anyways, so look out for that. And then I will definitely get you some cool disassociation uh, videos or posts, whatever it may be. And for those of you that don't know what disassociation means, it's the separation, the independent separation uh, between the upper and lower half of your body, which is so important in the golf swing. So definitely have to work on that if you uh, uh, plan on hitting the in the green soon. So I will give you those videos and I look forward to it. You just gave me some content. Thank you. All right. All right, John, you have a good um, rest of your holiday month and we will be in touch and I'll see you on the page. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.